Welcome back, all my movie maniacs out there, and before we get started in today's review, just to let you know, we're going to have a spoiler room edition of looking at The Wolverine this week, Thursday. Uh, we're looking at 9.30 Central Time PM, 9.30 PM Central Time. We're going to do a spoiler room, we're going to record it live, we're going to have a couple of indie filmmakers hopefully joining us, as well as the spoiler room crew, as we spoil the hell out of The Wolverine, as well as other comic book films. So check it out. This Thursday, 9.30 p.m. Central Time, look for the Spoiler Room episode uh, either here on the channel or at www.specialmarkproductions.com. Now, on to today's spoiler-free review of The Wolverine, which stars, again, Hugh Jackman as the title role, and it's directed by James Mangold. Now, this film, let me tell you, folks... Wolverine, this one's better than Origins, okay? It, it was by far better than Origins in a number of ways. Once I like the character depth, what they did with the Wolverine character here. Now, James Van Gold has done 310 to Yuma, as well as Girl Interrupted. So he can explore characters, he can do darker characters, and he brings that experience to the Wolverine character, and it was a it was a nice surprise. It was a freshing look at this character, giving him some more depth than rather than being just the grouchy mutant with the blades on his hands, okay? And everybody around him does really well. He's got a great international cast, uh, and they all do great. I liked their characters. There's the Viper, who's uh, played by an actress whose name I'm not going to murder right now, but let's just say I really like the Viper. We don't have too many mutants in here, but she was uh, uh, great to see on the screen. Great performance and character, and they did some great makeup with her, making her look very snake-like. So, I liked that character, and I'm glad they didn't chalk it with too many mutants in here, and we focused mainly on Wolvie. Now, while we have some great character exploration as Wolvie tries to deal with his demons, as well as the fact of being more vulnerable than he ever has before in his life, and having that potential of actually possibly could be get killed. Uh, well, you got some great exploration there. The action scenes for me seem just a little bit clunky. Uh, they were still great setups. I love the fight. You've seen it on the trailer, on the bullet train and that. But the way they were edited together was a little bit clunky. They're a little bit too close of shots, so it's hard to tell what was going on sometimes. And they didn't seem to just quite flow quite as well as they could have. And maybe that's because James Mangold is used to mostly doing more character type uh, exploration than actual fast-paced action scenes that you would get out of a comic book movie and especially out of a Wolvie film. So, you know, those seemed a little bit clunky, so th those weren't quite as enjoyable. I'll tell you what I am glad, though, is that I did see it in the 2D rather than the 3D distraction, because this, it definitely would have taken me even further out of the film with that 3D distraction. Definitely uh, see it in the 2D, I would recommend. You'll enjoy the action scenes at least more than if you had the glasses on, okay? So i uh, recommend that there. The music was all right. I did enjoy uh, the score in here, though. It's an action movie, so you don't hear too much of it outside all the special effects and the kind of twist at the end I did see coming but uh, overall I was happy with the Wolverine definitely washed out the flavor of the origins movie uh, from the eyes and the mouth and I was happy but I you know it could have been just a little bit better though I enjoyed it on the whole I finished it I was entertained and it's always fun to see Hugh Jackman on screen three and a half stubs still I would recommend it though I would say go to a matinee and do the 2d you'll probably enjoy it a lot more devote Wolverine fans may have issues yet still with this as this isn't the movie they were expecting but it is by far better than its predecessor and it makes a nice uh, companion piece to the uh, previous X-Men films and it also has a, a scene at the end which you need to stay for the credits for to see. It definitely makes it worth sitting through a chunk of the credits. There is an end scene as there usually is with a Marvel film. So three and a half stubs from the movie man. That's the Wolverine. And until next time folks, keep that together.